Hey, good afternoon. What's going on, YouTube? So happy to share with you and be with you one more time. Um, got a couple of updates for you today. Some of you may have already checked out the fact that on last night, we were able to sell the C20, 1980 C20, 454-400. And, uh, you know, I've been selling cars for like 15 years off and on and um, probably I probably sold over a hundred cars at this point maybe more that might be actually conservative but last night was an extremely enjoyable transaction um, in fact I haven't had one that enjoyable for probably about 10 years you know what makes you feel good when you sell a car if it's a car that you really like that you you know have some emotional attachment to it's when you sell the vehicle to someone who's going to appreciate it and enjoy it like you would um, someone who has the technical know-how to take that vehicle to the next step that that vehicle deserves and I'm not going to say their name I'm going to mention the business because I didn't talk about um, whether I could actually say their names or not but just a very pleasurable experience the guy didn't try to talk me down no negotiations he literally looked at it for two minutes heard it run for about 30 seconds he said I want the car left the deposit came back the next day exactly around the time he said he would pay for the rest of the vehicle now mind you he didn't even understand that when I put the truck on Craigslist I was just like doing a, a feeler type situation seeing what the market would say uh, about the price etc but you know I, I hadn't even made up my mind that I truly wanted to sell the car so uh, the truck and he came right on and he took care of business and you know the fact that it's going to a good home the fact that this guy has other similar vehicles and he understands the process of restoring the whole nine made me feel so much better about the transaction. And so I really appreciate them. And um, him and his wife, uh, they own a company, a small business called Plant Whisper of Texas, LLC. And so I encourage you for all your local and she says she's went as far as Las Vegas doing um, doing landscaping projects. So. I encourage you, if you're looking for a landscaper, you want some expert advice, I could tell both times that I met them, they were just coming back from jobs, uh, hardworking people, um, good equipment, and uh, I just encourage you to reach out to the Plant Whisperer of Texas, uh, Sarah at PlantWhisperOfTexas.com, and then www plantwhispereroftexas.com I encourage you to reach out to them because I know just with dealing with them for 15-20 minutes that they're good solid people they understand business and um, you know I enjoy dealing with them and uh, like I said I've sold hun um, over 100 cars that's conservative and you know it was it ranks up there in the top 3 of deals that I've done in terms of knowing the, the vehicle was going to a good home and, and all those other things. So, shout out to them. Also, I told you today, Saturday, that we were going to be getting Malia a pig, a pie belly pig, a mini pig. I also told you that during this journey of going from the city to the farm, that, you know, plans would change. That there would be deviations here and there as we you know evolve and so that's what happened today I had a deal set up up in Sanger Texas for mini pig it fell through and then so I started trying to scramble this morning to find another pig that would be suitable and you know I just couldn't get the deal done and so I talked to Malia and after a little bit more reading after a little bit more research in the process I discovered you know it may not be the best thing right now to get a pot belly pig with my dogs and with moving um, 
etc. You know, we we already started pulling all the pictures down off the walls. We we're getting ready. Um, my wife went out and got about 30 boxes from somewhere, and you know we're already getting ready to move. And so you know, I, it may not be the best thing to in, introduce another animal into the situation. So as you see, come on, sweetie. As you see, we decided to go with a Syrian hamster, and she is so cute. Just so cute, and it's a great pet for what she needs in terms of uh, something she can take care of, something she's, on the she's in the wheel. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. Uh, something that she can take care of, something that she can enjoy, something that we can keep away from the dogs until they get used to all those, uh, all their new friends. And, you know, you have to adjust. You have to adjust. So we adjusted. We made an adjustment. We went with uh, a hamster, a gerbil, whatever you want to call it. I think it's actually a... It's a hamster. Yeah, it's a hamster. So we went with that instead of a mini pig. But we will be revisiting the mini pig situation once we get on the land. Come here, Rose. Yeah, girl. Give me a kiss. She got a ball in her mouth. She can't give me a kiss right now. But she's so lovable. Say hi to the people. She's watching. She's watching little Stacy as we've so affectionately named her already, little Stacy. So she's part of the crew now, and just a lovable little thing. Oh, I seen her yawn when she was in the cage in the pet store, and it just it did something to my heart. So I had to bring her home. And she's got a sister up there that I'm also considering going back and getting. But, um, so we made that adjustment. But, you know, that's what this thing is about. And I told you guys in the second video, there are going to be adjustments. You know, we're going to go back and forth on certain decisions. And I want to be completely honest about that. That's what this journey is all about. Learning what works and what doesn't work and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So... You know, keep checking us out. Um, so we got the truck sold. Now, why did I sell the truck? I bought that truck three years ago with the anticipation of taking it to a farm. I wanted a, a strong work truck, something I could get dirty, something that I wouldn't care, uh, you know, that I could abuse a little bit on, on a farm type situation. I got the big block in it, plenty of torque to pull trailers and so forth. But, you know, after I really looked at the scenario as far as where we live at being off of 259 271 if you're familiar with that that stretch of, of highway um you know like 80 miles 100 miles north of broken bow oklahoma the road is a two-lane highway for like 80 miles and there are very little to no gas stations there's horrible phone service and there are some pretty good sized hills in that area. So you don't really want to be taking an older vehicle up and down those mountains, pulling uh, trailers and so forth. You know, you're going to run into problems. You're going you're gonna to run your, your engine hot. There's not a, a lot of area where you can pull over in a safe place. Also, that's a, a highway that's traveled by log trucks. Log trucks, hills, and cars that may have problems don't mix. And so, you know, one thing about me, common sense is my forte. And it just doesn't sound like a situation I want to be put in with the older vehicle, mountains, tra uh, pulling trailers. You know, it just doesn't sound like a good situation. So I decided, unfortunately to sell the truck and, and, and give it to someone who could really use it, really restore it, really put it in a good situation. Um, same thing with the pig. I had to make an executive decision and say, you know what, the pig is not what we need right now. You know, I want to take care of my animals. I want my animals to be in a good situation. And right now it's so hectic. I don't want, I, we don't have the time nor the, the, the patience really to um, facilitate 
that situation. So hold off on the pot belly pig, the mini pig. Go with the the hamster, and you know uh, it doesn't need as much time and as much care as a mini pig would. So you know there's gonna be adjustments, and that's the beautiful thing about this is that we can make adjustments. And uh, I love the fact that I can be forthcoming, honest. And share with you guys exactly, you know, what's going on and why I'm doing certain things. So, you know, those are the two updates. We got a gerbil. We sold the truck. Um, Tuesday, you guys are going to be accompanying me on the trip up to Oklahoma again. Um, you know, I'm not the most uh, savvy person when it comes to technology. That's why I'm recording on my phone tonight. My GoPro, Pro, I'm having some issues with it as far as being able to, and I'm learning. You know, I was recording everything in 4K. It's very hard to download these videos when I do it in 4K, so we, we're changing, uh, you know, the parameters, dropping it some, so, you know, it's not as much information when we download it and upload it up to YouTube, you know, but... You know, we spent like eight hours trying to figure out. I have a whole nother video that I can't upload right now because, you know, the memory and, and so forth. I mean, even with the extra memory cards and it's a, you know, it's a whole thing. And for you people that know about this kind of stuff, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm kind of new to this. Uh, I typically just let somebody else handle this type of stuff, but uh, I'm going to have to learn it. You're going to see that too. So, um... I must thank all the subscribers. I think before going tonight, we were at eight. I got to thank absolutely every one of you guys, whether you got here organically or, you know, my wife or someone I've met. Listen, I haven't done any real promotion for this yet. I haven't even put attached my videos to my Facebook. My family and friends don't even know about this yet. But I'm going to bring them on board. I want to make sure I have a certain amount of content because I want to keep people once they come on over. But um, I want to thank my brother T. Holly. He reached out to me the other day, and I let him know what I was doing. Uh, him, uh, who's been my, one of my best friends for 20 years, uh, my brother, my real brother, uh, he checked us out the other day. And so all of Jen's friends, I appreciate you guys. This is all organic at this point. I haven't spent any real time promoting this or anything. I'm just working on the content, working on uh, the delivery, making sure I can be concise, making sure that it's, you know, you're getting the feel of the learning process uh, and so forth. So that's what I've been working on, but I will start promoting. Once I get about 10 videos or so, I, I will start really going out there and promoting. Um, also, I want to let you know as far as the tractor update, because of the COVID thing and just some lack of communication within uh, some of the companies, you know, that's still going to happen. It's just making sure that my request goes up the chain of command and I can record and all of those things. Because I want you guys to catch the whole experience just like me walking into a tractor dealership for the first time and you seeing the entire experience as I see it. So I'm still working on that. That's coming. But the next thing uh, is uploading the video that I couldn't get uploaded the other day. And then on Tuesday, like I said, you'll be with us for the four-hour drive up to Oklahoma to meet with the inspector. And I'll show you some more about the property. I'll uh, uh, probably end up seeing a tick or two, and I'll put that online. So, again, thanks so much to our subscribers. Please like and subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys. I'm humbled. And, uh, man, we're going from the city to the farm. So, you know, it's going to be a nice ride. Thanks so much again. Have a good evening.